Hello everybody, Cecilic here, and today I have a match versus choice packs from Smogon. I'll leave a link to his channel in the description. But anyway, this match right here, uh, as you can probably tell, it's in black and white one. I don't know why, but when I was making my team over, or when I was bringing up my team over from us uh, showdown, I kind of decided to just make it, uh, save them in uh, Pokemon files. That way, I can put them in both my games. I don't know, just, I just felt like playing black and white one for some reason. I don't know why, but I just felt like it. But anyway, looking at his team, he's got the uh, Heracross, which I was really afraid of because I had a match before this, and I got and I almost got 6 would by a, a Choice Scarf's Heracross. The only reason I didn't get 6 would was because my Houndoon went and uh, dodged the Megahorn and then killed him. But yeah, that thing is scary. I kind of wanted to fix up this team before I played again, and... When I saw that Heracross, I was like, oh no, dang it. But anyway, another Pokemon I wasn't too happy to see was that Crobat, just because it's pretty fast and Braybird from that thing are actually kind of, uh, kind of, do actually do a lot of damage, especially when you don't have anything that can, like, resist them, which I do not. My Kabalion is still tight, but it's also part of fighting, so that's not gonna really help. So anyway, I decided to lead off with my Raikou, just because I could probably bolt to it, but then I was like, He's got that right here, so I'm not gonna go for a Boltz. Instead, I go for Hidden Power Ice, and I actually put Hidden Power Ice on this Raikou as I was transferring over from Shodan. And Shodan has grass, so I don't know. Uh, judging by the damage, it would have probably done like less than half, maybe. But anyway, just gonna call back my Raikou now. Just gonna go into my Swampert just because I'm expecting him to get up. I'm expecting him to get up the rocks, and even if I stayed in, I wouldn't be able to do much damage to it, so. Gonna send my Swampert, get up my own rocks as he's gonna switch out into this Blastoise. I was kind of more or less expecting him to go out into the Rotom just to like scare me out and whatnot, but he is gonna spin my rock away. I'm pretty sure he is gonna do that, which he does, and I go for a Toxic as he's doing that, so that's gonna probably help me take down this Blastoids. Probably not the best idea just because I have Raikou and Meloetta that both have Thunderbolt. I don't know, I should have probably actually just gone for an attacking move, but right here I predict them to go out into Rotom mode, which is why I go out into my Raikou, just to try to hit it with a Hidden Power Eyes, but he sends out his uh, Paracross as well, and I luckily outspeed, which I think even if this thing was Choice Scarf, I would have probably still outspeed, I don't know, last match my Raikou got paralyzed, which is why I had such a hard time with this, with a Heracross, so, gonna send in Meloetta just because it's going to outspeed, I believe it's uh, Timid, so it's going to be going to go for the Psychic. Do a lot of damage to this right here, but because of its leftovers, it doesn't really seem like I will be able to take it out in two hits. So I don't want to risk it. It's going to go out into my Swampert to take a hit. It goes for the uh, Earthquake, and it's going to do it's going to do a real uh, decent chunk to my Swampert, which I don't know. I don't know why, but it just feels like uh, bulky Pokemon without a reliable way to recover aren't so bulky just because your opponent can kind of just weather them down, but he's going to send out the Rose Raid. He's going to switch out into his uh, Heracross, which isn't too good for me, and I didn't really know what to send out or what to switch into, but luckily for me, and unfortunately for him, he's going to miss his uh, Mega Horn, so that's going to get let me get off a, a Giga Drain, but it's not going to do too much damage. However, that is going to change because he decides to go for a uh, close combat, which is not very effective, so I can't live that, and then his defense goes down, so my Giga Drain takes him down, or takes him out. Anyway, he is just going to send out the uh, Crobat now just to uh, revenge kill me, which is not good because, uh, I don't know. I left. I decided to leave my Rose Raid in here as Death Auto just because I was hoping it would do a lot more, or uh, that, uh, what's it called, Recoil from Braybird would do a lot more damage to this thing. Because then I could just send out my uh, Houndoom and then Sucker Punch it, hopefully kill it, which that does not happen. So, I don't know, go for Sucker Punch, doesn't kill it, and then the recoil from this Braybird still doesn't take this thing out, which is just annoying because now I have to send out this Kovalian and hope that it takes this Braybird very well. I know that recoil from the Braybird is going to take this Crobat down, so I decided to just set up a uh, Swords Dance for the uh, next Pokemon that decides to send in, which is going to be the Blastoise, and right here... He uh, conf kind of confuses me. I was like, why? I was uh, I go for a close combat just to do massive damage to this thing, which actually ends up happening, which is nice. But I was expecting him to just take me out with like something like a Scald, which doesn't happen. Later on, he asked me like, what kind of, uh, how much HP and how, and like what kind of item I had. I told him I have a Lum Berry on that Kovalium, but I thought, he, but he said that he thought I may have been one of those berries that increases speed when your health gets low, which you know. 
probably a set, but I don't know. I really don't mess around with those berries. Just gonna send on the uh, Meloetta, finish off that uh, Blastoids with a Psychic, and then probably should have gone for a Calm Mind, but I was afraid that Blastoids is gonna roll me out. But that Calm Mind would have probably helped me do more damage to this Empoleon and then survive a Hydro Pump, but my Meloetta dies, and that is really not good because now I'm left with Swampert and Cobalion. I'm gonna go. I'm just gonna finish off this Empoleon with a close combat. And then he's gonna send this guy out, and I should have probably sent out my uh, what's it called my uh, Swamper to just that way my, for my uh, Cobalion just to get the uh, defense, his defense up again, and he would have probably been able to finish off this. Uh, probably would have been able to live a, uh, a Leaf Storm from this thing, if not just and then finish him with an Alexa. And then his close combat is Rhyperior, but something he could have just done was switch out so he gets his special defense. I don't know. Point is, I lost. Point is that was a good game. Anyway, uh, good game choice specs. Leave a link to his channel in the description. And as you can see here, I I don't, I don't know. I like playing Metroid and I also like playing Puyo Puyo. So if anybody has a uh, flash card or if any yeah, if anybody has a flash card, I, I would recommend you guys uh I would recommend you guys uh, look these games up because it's really it's a really fun puzzle game. I don't know. It's it's really fun and I want to find people to play with. I don't know, but anyway, that's going to do it for today. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, yeah, later, folks.